Take a look at this. These are two still cameras that are going to map the outer boundaries of the clouds of the supercells. And Jim's going to tell us why. Because we want to know what the origins of the rear flank downdraft are. And that's important to know why the tornado forms. Cool. They're going to find out why and where the tornado is going to exactly. pop up. Now this is a pod. What they're going to do is they're going to drop it on the ground, hope the tornado passes right over it. But what if it flies away? Um, hopefully it does get hit by the tornado and we collect the data and we get data inside of the tornado. How much does it weigh? It weighs 120 pounds. And that's not going to fly away? Hopefully not. It's designed so it stays very close to the surface. Aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. Got it. <laughs> now these right here, they're the most dangerous thing out there. They're called stick nets and what the guys have to do when they get them, take them out of the car, get them outside, onto the ground and hope the tornado passes right over it. So are you scared? Well, the pulse quickens definitely when we deploy these into the ground because uh, we have to get them in the ground and we have to get out of the way to be safe, of course. Uh, but we have we have safety protocols in place. But yeah, the pulse definitely quickens. And it's it's right before the tornado comes, so they're close to it. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes we can actually see the tornado when we're making the deployments. As you can see, there's a lot of equipment taking a lot of measurements, and all of this stuff is going to work together in order to find out more about tornadoes and why they form. What does this radar actually do? This is one of the uh, larger uh, Doppler radars involved in the project, and we're going to be looking at the storm from the bottom up and the environment around the storm.